Hi everyone. Now in this part we are going to discuss a topic called food spoilage. Yes, we are going to discuss about spoilages of food. So what is a spoiled food? The food that is not fit for human consumption is often referred to as spoiled food, isn't it? So uh, the undesirable deterioration of the food quality that may result in off order of taste and appearance of the food is often being called as spoiled one. So in simple terms, the food that is not fit for human consumption is often referred as spoiled. Now, depending upon the nature of spoilage, the food is going to be classified into three types. How many types? Three types. So the first one is going to be of a non-perishable food. The non does not mean that never, but they will take a long time to get a, a spoil. So that's why we are going to name it as non-perishable food or stable foods. Examples or sugars. So here you can see foods that dresses spoilage is going to be of your sugar, flour and dry beans, cereals. All this comes under the uh, stable or uh, non-perishable foods. Then the second one is going to be the semi-perishable foods. Uh, take your potatoes, nut meats and some apples which can be uh, stayed without having any spoilage for few days, not more days but few uh, days. Okay, And then the third type of the foods uh, are going to be of perishable foods where immediately within hours they are going to be uh, spoiled. So those are all called as uh, perishable foods. So meat, fish, eggs, uh, fruits, vegetables, milk, so all these comes under the perishable food. So look at this picture. So these are all going to have the, the foods that spoil quickly or call as perishable foods. And the one that resists the spoilage immediately is going to be called as stable or non-perishable foods. Okay. And then coming to the, uh, what are the factors that are involved in causing this uh, food spoilage are going to have the different aspects. So let's see some of them. So spoilage of foods may be brought about by all these causes. Number one, growth and activity of microorganisms. That means how fast the microorganisms are going to degrade the substances and how fast they are growing. So that is one of the factors which is involved in spoilage of food. Then damage due to insects. Some insects will damage and where they will make a path to the entry of the microorganism and that's how it is getting spoiled. And then the action of the enzymes of the plant or animal body. So here uh, self-oxidation of uh, some enzymes are going to cause the uh, spoilage of uh, plant or animal food. And then certain chemical reactions other than enzymatic reactions are also going to be involved in the spoilage of food. And then some physical changes that are occurring due to freezing, burning, drying or pressure. So these all are some of the uh, factors which are going to be um, the main causes of uh, food spoilage. A fruit product may be unaccept unacceptable that we are not going to accept to the reasons that I told you, isn't it? By uh, large and most food, uh, food spoilage is mainly because of the microbial activity. Though we have discussed all these things, but uh, by a large and most food spoilage is mainly occurring because of this uh, activity of uh, microorganisms. Now, in this topic, we are going to discuss with the spoilage of some important food commented. So before that, how do you recognize or what are the signs that we will come to know whether the food is spoiled or not? Here just I have mentioned it. Order. So obviously when you are going to smell the bad order or offense order, obviously you say that the food is spoiled. So that uh, order is mainly because of breakdown of proteins that we call it as putrefication. Example rotten egg. And then sliminess. So where you can uh, see some sort of a sliminess on the foods and then discoloration. So you can see here the orange, uh, nice orange color was changed into some other color by mouth where uh, it's going to be of a uh, green mouth and citrus fruit. Okay, then soaring of milk uh, where the milk taste is going to be changed. Okay, and then uh, gas formation. So here in the containers, you can see the formation of the gas mainly 
meat becomes spongy swollen canned foods okay so these are all the some of the signs where you are going to find uh, whether the food is going to be spoiled or not and let's see some important food commodities that we are going to discuss in detail so here are fresh fruit and vegetables spoilage we are going to discuss then the spoilage of the meat we will discuss in detail spoilage of the fish and some of the canned foods okay so these are uh, all four commodities we are going to discuss about the spoilage in detail see here these are the vegetables that are tomatoes where they're going to be uh, spoiled by certain fungal okay and here are the strawberries fruits obviously so these are also going to be spoiled by some uh, microorganism and here is the spoiled meat and here is the spoiled fish and here the canned food that was spoiled okay so we will discuss in detail about all these things so let's come to the first one spoilage of fruits so the degree of specificity shown by many species of molds and uh, are going to have the active in spoilage of the harvested fruits in the marketplace or the domestic fruit bowl this reflects their possible role of pathogens usually fruits inhibit the growth of uh, microbes until their harvest but once uh, they are going to be harvest so as i told you the market places or the domestic food bowl that you are going to have so these are all going to influence the spoilage of the fruits ripening so ripening of these fruits are also weakens the cell walls and decreases the amount of anti fungal nature so obviously the fungi is going to attack them and the physical damage during harvest breaks outer layers which are protective so during the harvest also there may be a cracks or some sort of scrapings which will also allow the uh, microorganisms to enter these things and fruits have a low ph that inhibits most bacteria except acid tolerant positive uh, lactobacilli and our leuconostal and then coming to molds and these molds are going to have the tolerant of acidic conditions so ph is going to be high in the fruit so obviously uh, fruits are not uh, going to be of uh, damage by majorly by the bacteria but majority of the microorganisms which are involved in the spoilage of the fruits are molds because of having the high rich content of the carbohydrate obviously the ph will be uh, acidic in condition so obviously the molds loves to grow in the acidic uh, ph and they are going to grow so here is the example of some apples and pears where you are going to see and the bacteria sorry the organism which is involved in causing this kind of uh, spoilage is pencilium expansum okay what is it pencilium expansum and these molds or yeast even yeast are also capable of attacking the sugars found in fruits and bringing about fermentation with the production of alcohol and carbon dioxide so here i'm going to show a list of fruits and the spoilage effect and that because of different microorganisms so see here we are these are all our loud uh, food uh, that is fruits so apples bananas berries citrus fruits dates figs peaches these are all the different kinds of the fruits okay and here the spoilage effect that is uh, occurring is apples due to the fermentation as i told you yeast is mainly involved in the fermentation that is a candida species and torulopsis species then bananas a storage rot okay and that is going to be because of collateral trichum gliosporium and ervina then berries so we had a different berries strawberries blueberries all these things i have written here only the general berries that is going to be because of the fungal rot and uh, here we are having the botrytis mucar alternaria rhizopus epicocum collateral trichum so we can go on with the uh, mouths are and the yeast which are going to be involved in causing the berries damage or spoilage then coming to the citrus fruits we are going to have different types of uh, uh, molds that are involved in this one like uh, green mold blue mold so these are all because of the pencilium species like uh, pencilium digitatum and pencilium italicum then you are having a black rot that is because of the alternaria species and even we are going to have the sore rot or uh, stem end rot like go on we can go with the spoilage effects then coming to the dates 
So dates are going to be of a fermented, that means you'll get the fermentation smell, a sour smell, that is mainly because of the saccharomyces and candida. And then coming to the figs, so these are also becoming soaring because of an organism called as gluconobacter. And even the peaches are going to have the brown rot, that is because of monilina fructocola or sclerocina. And even they are getting peaches are going to get decayed and that is because of mainly rhizopus stoloniform. Okay, so these are the few uh, fruits and their spoilage effect by different microorganisms. So look at these pictures. So here are the apples. Apples are getting fermented by these uh, yeast species that is candida, torilopsis, pichia, etc. And the bananas, I told you the bananas are going to have the crown rod, storage rod, black rod, all these things by different organisms. And the citrus fruits are going to have this soft rot or the black rot is all because of pencilium and area. And berries, I told you in general, I told you here I am showing the strawberry. Okay, so here in the strawberry you are going to have this kind of the uh, damage is because of area, And this kind of the damage is being botrytis gray mouth. And then this is all because of uh, some other rot. Okay, so here you can see here the gray mold rot is going to be because of uh, botrytis cinerae. Okay, and then uh, these are all the different kinds of uh, pictures showing or representing the defects of uh, foods. These foods caused by these organisms. Okay, so next uh, we will move to the spoilage of vegetables so here uh, in the vegetables majorly these vegetables as we know contains the more water isn't it and the higher ph values of the tissue of vegetables makes them more affected by bacterial invasion than fruits see in the fruits we have seen only the uh, molds and the yeast are mainly involved in the damage but here in the vegetables we will find bacteria are going to be more invasive than the uh, yeast and the molds. The bacteria involved are usually pectolytic, pectinolytic species sorry it's a pectinolytic activity of microorganisms or especially involved in the spoilage of these fresh fruits that are looking so emmy okay and uh, the pectinolytic uh, enzyme sorry uh, bacteria is going to be example is gram negative arvenia pseudomonas xanthomonas clostridium and some non sporing gram positive bacteria corine bacterium okay uh, spenidonicum or the best examples of uh, these pectinolytic uh, bacteria which are involved in the spoilage of fruits then what is this pectinolytic okay uh, this uh, pectin pectin the major component between the cells making up plant tissue okay the pectin is a major component between the cells making up plant tissue and once if it is going to be broken down by the tissue loses its integrity so if these bacteria comes and damages that pectin and the tissue loses its integrity and individuality and plants are, are more easily invaded and killed. So this is what how the bacteria is going to target the pectin compound that is present in the cells and that is going to degrade it. Okay and then uh, the onset and rate of uh, spoilage will depend upon the interactions between the physiological changes occurring in the tissues after harvest and changes in the microbial activity. What is that microbial activity? It is a pectinolytic. Okay. And the presence of water on the surface will allow access of motile bacteria such as uh, Arvenia, Pseudomonas to wounds and causes the food spoilage. And here some starches, sugars are metabolized next uh, and unpleasant odors and the flavors develop along with the lactic acid and ethanol. Okay, so these are the few uh, things or the uh, reactions that are occurring in the spoilage of different vegetables. So let's have a quick uh, review of some uh, foods that is vegetables and what are the defects that are occurring and organisms involved in it. So the first one is the beans. So obviously we know. So here are the black spots. These are all because of anthracnose organism that is causing is collateral trichum and the blight disease is 
because of xanthomonas okay and then carrots you often see like this when you are going to preserve it for longer time that is all because of soft rot is be rhizopus tolonifer and fungal rot is because of fusarium and they even go with the decay and the wet rot defect and that is because of rhizoctonia carotia okay then onions yes onions we will find some sort of a black color on it which is of a black mouth so that is because of majorly aspergillus nicer and then coming to the other types of a defect that we find in the onions or neck rot rot so that is all because of uh, botrytis li and the rot is because of pseudomonas cipaceae so here you can see the pictures of defects uh, of onions then coming to the potatoes uh, okay so if you are going to see your potatoes like this it's going to be of dry rot or the ring rot that because of two other uh, organisms that is corangi bacteria and the fusarium is a mold okay then coming to tomatoes more often we see this one isn't it so for, uh, tomatoes are getting fermented defect that is because of candida and pichia yeast species and then fungal rot is mainly because of aspergillus you are going to see a black color uh, uh, surface on the tomato so that is because of this aspergillus species and then bacterial spot is because of uh, xanthomonas species and then soft rot is because of bisocalmus fulva so these are the different uh, uh, bacteria and fungi which are involved in the spoilage of different vegetables. So this is how we will end this topic uh, with uh, spoilage of uh, vegetables and the fruits and the introduction of the food spoilage and we will discuss about this uh, spoilage of meat and spoilage of uh, fish in the next part. Thank you.